Students, this video is on economics analysis. So the past model papers I've selected and I was solving one after another. This will be useful for competitive examinations as well. So let's get to the first question. So this question is on our profit maximization form based question and we have given a profit function along with that the maximum output capacity of that so for example here the output cannot be exceeding 12 okay so let's get into this here we will be doing it by utilizing a thing called Lagrangian multiplier L A G R A N G I A N so Lagrangian multiplier is a process so what is the Lagrangian multiplier? There is a multiplier over here. So that I will be taking as lambda. So the process of writing over here is L. First you write the main equation minus 2x square. Here you can see it's a quadratic formation. And xy minus 3y square plus 100y. And plus put a lambda and put everything in the RHS. So there are two types of patterns. If you put this lambda as a plus, then you will be putting minus and these two will be reversed. So I will try to get into the easier version for this kind of questions because when I was a student, I faced similar kind of questions and confusions as well. So that's why for you, my prescription will be just proceed with the plus and then put everything in the RHS. That's it. So now going for the partial derivative and if you have any kind of hiccups in the partial derivative area, you can check my partial differentiation based videos that will be very much helpful to you. Okay, and after that you have any kind of problems you can write in the comment section below. So del L del X. So that's the first partial derivative. AT minus 4X minus Y. This part is 0, 0 and this is minus lambda. So now getting to the next equation, del L del Y. So this time will be minus X minus 6Y plus 100 minus lambda equal to 0. And the last one is del L del lambda. So which is 12 minus X minus Y. So you can see we have uh, three equation structure here. The first two equations you can equate with respect to lambda. So you can get 80 minus 4X minus Y equal to minus x minus 6y plus 100 okay so here this two will be equalized so i will put that thing to this side uh, so 4x minus x so this is 3x minus 6y plus y so this is minus 5y and this thing comes this side so this is minus 20 you have another equation that is x plus y equal to 12 all you have to solve is this so 3x 3y 36 okay so now it's a minus so minus 56 and minus 8y so we get a whole number y equal to 7 and putting into this x will be obviously 5 so you can check the second order condition by lxx lxy lyx and lyy this determined value this will be positive and your LXX value will be negative so in order to for as a compilation of these two you will be able to check whether the profit is maximum or not but the answer will be x equal to 5 y equal to 7 but remember that this is not the thing they have asked here so they have asked you they have asked you the output combination but in example they asked you the maximum value of profit uh, then you can put these two x equal to 5 and y equal to 7 into the structure which will give you the answer directly now time for the next question so this next question is about an optimization function remember that optimization is actually comes with the both maximization and minimization both so here uh, optimization of the production function they have given subject to the constant very much similar question whenever they give something with respect to another particular structure you will be applying the Lagrangian format okay Lagrangian form so I'm writing it down so L so this time I will not be using L I will be using uh, Z instead because the question already has labor which is L okay so now 100 uh, 0 0.2 and k to the power 0 0.5 0 0.8 L to the power 0 0.5 square 
plus lambda 4100 minus 10k minus 4l. So that's a combination of structure just like the past equation. So all you have to do is del z del k and the first uh, derivative will be 100, 2 will come down and 0.2k to the power 0.5 plus 0.8 L to the power 0.5 and within the inside it is 0.2 into 0.5 into K to the power minus 0.5 and in the next part what gonna happen in the next part you are forgetting this you are forgetting this and you are applying the 10 lambda thing okay so you put that thing equal to 0 and then the similar way you go for del z, del l, del z and del l. So that will be the first part will be just the same way. 100 into 2, so that's 200, 0 0.2 k to the power 0 0.5, l 0.8, l to the power 0 0.5 into 0 0.8 into 0 0.5 l to the power minus 0 0.5 minus this one so that is minus 4 lambda so this thing equal to 0 so we have got 2 and del z del lambda you directly know that is uh, 4100 minus 10k minus 4l so you have the equational format over here just like the above question we need to equate uh, these two i'm marking it by red so here this area you need to find the value of lambda which is the whole thing by 10 here also whole thing by 4 so i'm just giving you a glimpse of what we're gonna happen so 200 0 0.2 k to the power 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8 l to the power 0 0.5 0 0.2 into 0 0.5 so that's anyway 10 uh, 0 0.10 so 1 so just writing whatever is there into k to the power minus 0 0.5 whole divided by 10 this thing is equalized with 200 into 0 0.2 k to the power 0 0.5 0 0.8 l to the power 0 0.5 0 0.2 0 0.8 into 0 0.5 into l to the power minus 0 0.5 whole divided by this time it will be 4 so these two will be cancelled out these two whole thing will be cancelled out and you can get a formation directly with respect to k and l and you have to put you have to find k in terms of l so here it is uh, can be done directly via uh, this structure here now if you take a look into the close pattern here in the left part so the left part gives you that it is not calculable directly so either you have to find k in terms of l or l in terms of k so that will be a very easier uh, version of solving so this is now we have 0 0.1 by 10 into k to the power minus 0.5 equal to 0 0.8 into 0 0.5 0 0.4 into l to the power minus 0 0.5 by 4 okay so you have a direct relationship here all you have to put the value of k into this equation which will give you the value of l just solve it okay if you have any issues you can directly contact me and i will give you the full solution of this hope you have enjoyed the video and if you have any kind of queries and doubts you can get back to me in 24 hours thank you